Hey guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword. So, last episode we uh, took out Marnie and Hop at the gym. Or, not the gym, at the, the semi-finals. And now we're out here looking for uh, which one of these guys has like the key so we can go to the Rose Tower. And I, funny enough, forgot uh, that I did say like each recording I was going to... Oh, yeah, each each episode I was going to want to uh, trade a fee bass on surprise trade. So I ended off the episode, ended up doing a trade and got a Zigzagoon, the uh, the Galarian version. Okay, I don't think I had that Pokemon yet, but yeah, I'm just handing out these uh, these fee bass. So hopefully you're one of the lucky lucky people that got it. If you even watch my videos. Right now, it looks like we're just searching for who has the key. I don't know where he would be located at. But... I don't, know, I don't even know if we even had to go this far for it. Oh, this person has a Growlithe. Lucky. I never even checked out those stores there. Oh, there's Hop. Yeah, honestly, where did you go? Oh, and maybe it's too fishy to just talk to these guys. So we're supposed to go around finding, finding where the, the person is. I know he can't be one of these people for like the store. I don't even think we can really interact with them like that. So let's go back and see what we can find. Oh yeah, also in one of these houses, I think it's the last one or the second to last house on this strip, you can battle a person with um, Rotoms and then you can get like your Rotom uh, changed up if you end up getting it. Hey Blaze, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so he'll have no choice but to look this way. We already have the key, you know. What? Blast, I turned around and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Mar Macro Cosmos. There we go. Oh, you have to steal me out. Well, if you're faster than me, then that's gonna suck, but okay, good, you're not. Okay, yeah, he just has steel Pokemon. That's fine. Colossus is the perfect Pokemon to take him out. My cheers will really get you going. Thanks for the help. Oh, snap. I don't know if that speed up was just because of flame charge or if it actually was from that cheer, but I'm gonna say it was from that cheer. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. Okay, you didn't even have that much money on you either, bro. All I need to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key. It's a wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea what he would have... What he would have gov? What? What does that even mean, where he would have gov? How'd you find me, or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Nah, because I don't remember you talking to someone there. Is he really just changing up which steel Pokemon he has on him on the spot like that? It's just gonna do like regular. Oh no. I thought Mawa was Fairy and. Oh wait, it is, but I don't know why I keep thinking that fire isn't that good against fairy types. But it's the other way around. Fairy type moves don't do that much. 
Feel that flow, yeah, you feeling it, Blades? Let's go. Just to get that extra speed, because I don't know what Pokemon he's bringing out next. Excadrill. Okay, I think I can outspeed his Excadrill after those two speed boosts. We can use Heat Crash just to, you know, throw all our weight on this Pokemon. I know, it's kind of funny that, like, I've, I've enjoyed a lot of the Pokemon I've came across in this game, except for the Water Pokemon. And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Are you gonna run one more time from us, bro? They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. Where are you? Did you know? You did not just come in here. <laughs> there was a whole woman in here before. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Okay, maybe this is how I'm getting my money. Pharaoh seed? Okay, you just kind of made it worse for yourself. You got a time four weakness to fire now. And it was a crit. Nice. Nobody cares about those iron bars, bro. I don't even know how much we outweigh a Steelix, but I don't think we outweigh it that much. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep that beat going. Attack and special attack, Rose. Oh, that's just what I needed. Earthquake? Oh, Dragon Breath. Out of all the moves you could've used, you're gonna use a Dragon move? It says my Colossal was worried about this. Do you have a ground move to use? Rock Slide? I'm a rock, bro. It's fine. Colossal has a lot of health and defense, so I wasn't really too worried. I was just thinking he was going to use Earthquake for that times four weakness, but I guess his Steelix didn't know Earthquake. Which is actually pretty inconvenient for him. I clicked too fast to read it. Seems like you got me cornered. But I'm not going to give up. An airfoil from Miss Olin is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that League staff member at the station together. This is good. I started with Colossal against this guy, though. I wasn't expecting him to be a Steel type user. Do we have to defeat all four of you? Or do you have double battles? You did a cracking job of cornering that bad League staff member, Blaze. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy, but maybe I can help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing. Sing my humble song. Piers, go Piers. Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Oh, they're enjoying the song too. We got the keys, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. 
Wait, we got the key when they ran off like that? Blades hop, now's your chance. Go, get out of here. Sir, sir. We'll bring Marnie with us too. Search for the bad leak stuff. Well, we did that. Got it. Check. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yellow's gonna have their hands full holding up those bag lead staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Blades, what should we do? Let's go ahead. Good thing, let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the champion cup. Blades, you cleared the way to Rose Tower, and all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hit the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Smith in the old days. Some right wild concert we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Blades. All right, bro. But let's go this way because I see a Pokeball down there. A cell battery, an item to be held by a Pokemon to boost electric attack if the holder is hit with an electric type attack. It can only be used one. Okay. I don't see myself really doing anything with that. Oh yeah, let me put another Feebas up there for trade to kind of make up for not broadcasting one, um, the other, the other episode. But all right, Rose Tower will become. It's all dark in here. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? And we got flowers up under, oh, that's nice. I like that design. Listen, Blades, don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of a space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Okay, that's cool with me. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Olina says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Elijah, okay. Are you all just steel type users? If so, then that means this is just gonna be a walk in the park for me. Oh, my Pokemon didn't get healed up. I thought I was gonna outspeed his Durant, but I guess not. I guess it does outspeed my Colossal. Sturdy? Does he know Sturdy? Why are you worried, bro? Yeah, that was too easy. My, my bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to the Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Blade. Let's crack on. Yeah, let me heal up. Uh, let me heal up my Colossal, though. Oh man. Poor Corp there. Oh, that looks nice. That's actually a nice logo. I mean, I feel like we're gonna stop at a floor and have to battle to progress. This is taking ages. Are we really at the top? 
What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Yep, I knew it. <laughs> we were gonna have to battle. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gallo League's gym challenge, yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. All right, Jane and Mateo. And they got Qfin and Bronzong. Okay, so Bronzong can't get hit by ground type man, but it kind of works out because uh, I'm gonna just flame charge the heck out of that Bronzong. Why are you using body? Why do you even have a, you have two normal type Pokemon on your team, bro. I don't get why he has two normal types. He has this uh, Dubwool and he has Snorlax. I don't know how good Dubwool is, but I definitely would have took a Snorlax over a Dubwool and probably implemented a different type. I don't think he has a Grass type on his team. A Grass or a Fire type. He could have swapped in one of those, actually. Oh, but you know fighting moves now? kind of feels good double battling with uh with hop we don't get too many opportunities to double battle in the game i think it's mostly just single battles create an extraordinary lift that's safe even for Pokemon battles. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. You both look so angry. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with the Chairman Rose's work. The elevator and Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presents some danger. Thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocolf's Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Whatever that means. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Okay, fine with me, bro. We're going to get stopped again, huh? Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You're about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a lift insurance policy? Ah, okay, I get it now. So all these macrocosmos are different um, companies. So the other one was the actual construction people that built this place. Now these guys are the people that insure the building. That's actually pretty cool. body slam out here bro this is why you lost this is why you lost to me you don't you don't know how to battle bro Still not even fast enough to outspeed his double. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, okay. We getting up there. You tried it, buddy. to learn like sludge bomb or something for toxicity. You know, this just reminded me of uh, Encanto where there was that building that never got built. I'm quite terrified of heights actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. I don't know, but do you guys remember um, in Gen 1 when you went to... Uh, what was it called? Dang, it was it was for the third gym. The third gym in that area, like to the upper upper right, there was an old dude and his machop or machoke standing there. You're nearly at the top, but you'll not be meeting with the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies, doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Where the guy constantly kept talking about, oh yeah, like. There's going to be a building that's going to be built here. Honestly, I'm more terrified of that Steelix than I am of that Stunfisk. Since I know I'm not too much heavier than the Steelix, I'll just Flame Charge. I think Flame Charge does more damage for me than um, Heat Crash. Muddy Water. Ooh, I'm glad I avoided that. I think his Steelix gets hit in the process too, right? No? Wow. But Muddy Water is just like a dirty surf. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Are you trying to paralyze the Steelix? Hopefully you're using reversal on that Steelix though. Why not just use reversal? You have the move. I don't know, I think it's kind of late for Curse. You're about to... You're about to get got, Steelix. Flame charge, then I'll heat crash whenever that stun fist comes down. I don't know who's gonna bounce on either me or it's gonna be double. But bounce is a flying type move, so I don't see how it would benefit using it on Colossal. Oh, paralyzed, my boy. I don't know what you're wearing here for, bro. Have some confidence. And bam. <laughs> ba bam. We squashed the heck out of that stun fist now I think about it. That was kind of wrong of us. <laughs> Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but all of Gallard. Uh, okay. Appreciate the heal. 
Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. I guess each battle was kind of like every 200 really. gonna have to fight Olina but guys I'm in this episode off right here hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like for the video helps out the video and also subscribe to my channel helps out the channel a lot with that said stay sharp later